Paris Saint-Germain have reportedly registered an interest in signing Tanguy Ndombele on loan for the rest of the 2021-2022 season. The Frenchman moved to North London in a club record £65 million deal from Lyon in the summer of 2019. However, he has failed to cement a regular spot in the starting eleven. In Dombele, who has failed to impress four Tottenham managers during his time at the club, is said to be training on his own after being excluded from the last two matchday squads. Despite Ndombele's downfall at Tottenham, Mauricio Pochettino is said to be interested in bringing the midfielder to France. The Argentine manager signed Ndombele on a six-year contract worth £65 million in 2019. That deal topped the £42 million Spurs splashed out for centre-back Davinson Sanchez in 2017. Pochettino was a long-term admirer of Ndombele, having failed to sign the midfielder in the previous two window. Ndombele performed well under Pochettino, scoring two goals and registering three assists in his first eight appearances for the club. However, things went downhill from there. Ndombele has since struggled to make the starting lineup and according to The Athletic, he is now training alone. Nevertheless, Pochettino, who previously said it would take two years for Ndombele show his best form for the club, has maintained his faith in the French international. Therefore, he is interested in signing Ndombele on loan for the rest of the 2021-2022 season. Pochettino believes this would give Ndombele to the chance to revive his career and help PSG at the same time. As it stands, PSG are lacking quality in their midfield as Jorginho Wijnaldum has failed to impress following his free transfer from Liverpool last summer. Tottenham would be open to Pochettino's advances as they are eager to get in Dombele's £200,000 per week salary off their books. A move would be equally as beneficial for Ndombele as it would allow him to return to France and play regularly. It would also give him the opportunity to fight for a title and play for in the Champions League.